Hey, 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 beautiful beings. Welcome in. How are you doing today, this morning, this week, whenever you are watching this? My name is Lindsay Banks. I am a channeler and intuitive truth seeker. And um, I had a palm reading done yesterday, which also called me a, what was it? Resilient warrior, which I loved. So I wanted to do this video today around power to the people. So this is a phrase that has been coming up for me several times this week. It started in our new moon circle where Rachel Maria Bell, who is a fabulous astrologer, shared her message. And part of the message for this new moon was power to the people. Yesterday in my membership group, I was talking about what had been going on for me over the weekend and ended up channeling a message again around power to the people. So I thought, let's do a video about it and see what else comes through. So I have asked upstairs for some guidance and what words that I need to share in this video. So for those of you who may remember in the 1980s, um, there was a program called Citizen Smith. And this is all I keep seeing in my mind. So if you've never watched it, do go and watch it. Um, but he would always punch his fist in the air and shout power to the people. So I was asking upstairs, like, what does this mean? Why, why are we talking about power to the people now? And my feeling is that it's about us remembering who we are as true sovereign beings. We did not come here to be dictated to and to be told how to live our lives. We came here to learn freedom, to learn through experiences, to learn through challenges. We came here to celebrate this planet and to learn how to live on it and to work with it. Power to the people for me is around us taking back the power which we, inadvertently or not, have been given away for centuries you know, allowing ourselves to be consumed um, with various products that we don't actually need, to be watching things on TV that we don't actually need to, adverts selling us, you know, again, things that we just don't need in our life. The basics that we do need is food and shelter and love. I'm asking if there's any more, but I feel like that is literally it. And even some of these things, such as food, aren't even always available to every single human on the planet. So if you think about the number of food banks that have risen in popularity over the last few years, it's shocking. Like people should be able to have access to food for themselves and for their families. We should be able to have choices. And at the moment, it feels as if our choices are being stripped away. Now, earlier this week, if you are pro-vaccination, probably best you don't listen to this bit, but it may change your mind. I was in the car with four children earlier this week and it came over the radio to say that the first 300 children would be receiving the vaccination. Now, I'm sure there may be some people out there who are like, oh yeah, it's a great thing. For me, I got really angry and I got really pissed off because children do not are not capable of making that choice for themselves as to whether they want the vaccine or not. Adults, we should be able to research and to find out the information that we want before choosing whether we want to put a toxic substance in our body or not. Now, I remember years ago um, as a teenager and there was a young girl called Leah Betts who passed away from ecstasy. She took, I think from memory, she took one ecstasy tablet and she died from it. And there was massive uproar about the fact that she had taken these illegal pills and she did not know what she was putting in her body. And I remember there was lots of talk in the newspapers and they were saying, you know, it's like a game of Russian roulette. You know, you might get a pure ecstasy pill, which has got whatever on it, or you might get something else which has been mixed with, I think it was like, um, I don't know, some sort of drug to knock horses out. So if that was so shocking back then, and that was in the late 1990s, we've moved forward now 30 years, and instead of being shocked that these toxins are being put in our body and that it's Russian roulette, we're celebrating it. BBC Radio 2 yesterday 
were talking about how much fun it was at these vaccination centers and how it was like a party atmosphere making people who are listening to that think oh well maybe there's something i'm missing out on maybe i need to go and have my vaccination and this volunteer was really happy because there'd been some vaccinations left at the end of the day so all of the volunteers were offered them now again i don't want to make this all about vaccinations but we as sovereign beings should be allowed to make that choice as to what we want to put in our body whether we are choosing vaccinations whether we are choosing particular foods that we want to put in our body you know whether we are choosing whatever you can choose to exercise you can choose not to if you don't exercise the chances are you're going to get a little bit bigger if you do exercise the chances are you're going to have a healthy body and immune system so there are various things that we can do ourselves and taking personal responsibility for our health we can eat a healthy diet we can drink water we can you know choose not to drink alcohol we can we can make those choices for ourselves, and this brings me back to this power to the people is that there are people out there who are willing to make choices which may not be the most popular choice for others but they are listening to their bodies and to their minds and to their intuition and choosing to not have this if you have chosen to have it that is your choice but if you've chosen not to have it, that is also your choice. And for me, what makes me really annoyed and really angry is that our choices are currently being stripped away. What also came to my mind, and some people might be watching this and think, that's a bit extreme, Lindsay. But, you know, when I was 18 and I was studying A-level German, there was a chap there called Bill who was 65 and he was an ex-pharmacist and he had lived through World War II. And... I remember asking him at the time, I was like, how could you guys in England, you know, and it wasn't necessarily him because he was only a child, but I was like, how could you not do anything about Hitler and about the Jewish concentration camps? Why did nobody intervene? Why did nobody try to rescue these people? <clears throat> Excuse me. And <clears throat> he said to me at the time, which has stuck with me, he said, we couldn't quite believe it was happening. We, could, we saw these pictures in the, in the newspapers, you know, and we heard about it, but we didn't think that it was real. And the image that came to my mind when I heard about children being vaccinated was of children walking into Auschwitz. And if they were a young child, they automatically went towards the chimneys and they were killed because they weren't going to be productive. They weren't going to be of any use to the society that Hitler wanted to create. So, yeah. Sorry that got a bit heavy. I don't normally do really heavy videos, but I just feel as if I need to share that because some people might be reading newspapers and magazines and going, oh, well, it's not my child, so it's okay. But what happens, and again, I'm not fear-mongering, but what happens if they turn around and say, oh, your child can come to school, but only if they get a vaccination? What are you going to do then? Now is the time that if something does not feel right to you, to stand up, to speak your truth, to share whatever is coming into your awareness with other people, that is a power that you have. That is something you have control over. And it might be taken down by Facebook, it might be taken down by YouTube, but there are other platforms setting up all over the place that you can share your message with, yeah? So if you even have an inkling of this knowing within you now is the time to speak out and now is the time to really step into your power and be that sovereign being that you came here to be whoa so that my friends is the message for this week step up yeah tell people speak to people share your truth yeah even if people don't like it who cares this is your life, yeah? This is your one time that you have on this planet. Well, you'll have other lifetimes, but at this moment in time, this is your experience. And utilize this experience that you have, utilize your voice to speak up and to speak out. 
especially for the children who don't have a voice and who can't be heard. Namaste.